um, that they also claim that 62 percent of these individuals uh, are identifying as an African-American and that they are evenly split between female accusers and male accusers. And hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good guys. Today we're going to be reacting to Shandidi Combs hit with 120 new sexual assault allegations. Guys, this case is crazy and it's getting huge day by day. But it's just so fascinating that things like this have been happening and no one said anything, no one voiced out. And I get them because like literally anything could happen to you at any given point in time but guys no much talk let's just watch Steph, thank you. We are following breaking news right now related to music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Major new allegations today of sexual assault and exploitation by Combs. For the first time, we are hearing about victims who say they were minors when they were allegedly assaulted by the music star. The youngest allegedly just nine years old. The allegations were revealed today by attorneys representing more than 100 alleged victims who are preparing to sue. So let's bring in NBC News entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas right now. So Chloe, we know there is currently a press conference underway. We do have a live picture of that. Can you just walk us through these new allegations and tell us if we've heard from Combs yet? So the individual that you see on the screen right now, that is an attorney based out of Houston, Texas, and his name is Tony Busby. He's been a part of some very well-known litigation uh, over the years involving a BP oil spill, even involving the Astral World Music Festival uh, crisis where some individuals were killed during a stampede. So he um, has made headlines before, but this is uh, pretty shocking. So he claims at this is claiming right now at this press conference that he has had over 3,000 individuals reach out to his law firm in Houston, Texas, that he and his team have been vetting these claims, that now they are representing over 120 accusers, and that over the next 30 days, they will begin to file different civil suits, that this is not a class action lawsuit, that they are going to uh, continue to vet these allegations, but right now they feel strong about these. So, he also said today that it's not just Combs that will be named as a defendant, that there will be other high profile individuals, some household names. He says, quote, many powerful people. Mm. There are many dirty secrets. Um, he says that his team has collected pictures, video, and that the allegations include violent sexual assault or rape, facilitated sex with a controlled substance, dissemination of video recordings, and sexual abuse of minors. So um, this was something else that they talked about, that there are 25 accusers who were allegedly minors at the time, that these uh, allegations took place starting in 1991, mm. span all the way um, up over two decades. Um, he also talks about where these individuals are from. He said that they hail from more than 25 states, New York, California, yeah. Florida. We know that Diddy had a residence in Miami, uh, Georgia. Um, we've reached out to Sean Combs' legal team for comment. They have not yet responded. Combs is currently being held at the Metropolitan Det Detention Center in Brooklyn uh, mm -hmm. while he is awaiting trial on the New York indictment where he is charged with racketeering, um, sex trafficking, and uh, prostitution uh, charges. Now, I also just want to point out um, that they also claim that 62% of these individuals uh, are identifying as an African-American and that they are evenly split between female accusers and male accusers and clay. So this is very interesting. And he said that they, he said, you know, look, I know that everybody expected me today or wanted me to name other high profile individuals. He says, I'm not going to do that today but it will come at some point. He says that these names will shock you. Wow. I mean, shocking details to say the very least. And I'm sure just the start of what's to come. Chloe Malas, thanks so much. This case just keeps surprising me because like, what is going on? And obviously, like, it is so obvious that he, he doesn't, he wasn't in on this alone. Like, it's so obvious he wasn't in on this alone. And I, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people are going to be disappointed when they review the names of people who were um, partners with him, like in all these things he was doing, people that were there, saw and didn't do anything, didn't say anything. I mean, like, I already feel disappointed, but I, I just, I'm just waiting to see the names. And I'm very sure a lot of people are also waiting to see the names. Well, we're going to check it out. And we're going to have to talk about it. We're going to have to say something. Because 
this is crazy and um also i i just feel like it's crazy to see that things like this are going on and I, I just feel so bad right now for a lot of people i mean a lot of people went through this shit when they were much younger and it is something they had to live with because they just couldn't voice out they just couldn't say anything because you don't know what's gonna happen to you next so you just gotta keep yourself safe and i can imagine someone having to live with that body for years like oh god these people need to they need to feel okay justice needs to be served for people to to feel okay I, I saw a video of a lady who who was in tears i don't i don't know if i downloaded that video to react to but like this lady was crying and she was saying how she felt and this is someone that had to live with this shit for years so like they would feel much relieved when justice is served guys we await the trial i await the trial i am anticipating because I, I don't know i just feel so pissed right now like hearing this did this case i'm like how can a human being be this wicked but guys humans will always be humans don't forget to like subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button comment down below let's talk about this case because this is a banger it's one we need to talk about discuss about chit chat about and uh, no. I guess I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys.